Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'd like to showcase for you a great new feature in Personas's Studio One 2 digital audio workstation. That new feature is single and multi-track comping. Uh, comp recording and comping is really useful when you want to piece together a performance um, from pieces of multiple recorded uh, performances in your digital audio workstation after having loop recorded a section of audio. So if you know that there's a piece that you want to just get absolutely perfect, you can dial it in, loop record, record multiple layers of that piece, and then use those layers to create your final piece. And that's real easy to do in Studio One 2. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you guys how we can do that. So I have a single audio track here. As I say, we can do this on single tracks, we can do this on multiple tracks really just depends on what it is that you need to do. And first thing that we need to do is show the record panel. And we show that on the PC by holding down Alt and hitting Shift and the R key. On the Mac, we do that by holding Command and hitting Shift and R. So I'm gonna do that here on my PC. And now I have opened up the record panel. Two things I need to pay attention to here. Firstly, make sure that the Record Takes button is enabled. And then take a look on the far right hand side and make sure that there's a check mark next to record takes two layers. As long as you have that, you're all set to start doing comping and comp recording. Next thing that we need to do is set a loop region. I've set a loop region here in my ruler and you can do that by simply drawing with the pencil tool in the ruler. I'm just gonna do roughly four bars right here. And last thing that you need to do is engage loop recording in your transport. I've engaged that. And now we're all set. We're going to engage recording on our track. You can see there's my voice coming in. Now I'm going to go ahead and record a couple looped sections. And what's going to happen is as I record, Studio One's going to loop back to the beginning and continue recording. And when I'm all done, it's going to give me a number of layers of my recorded voice. So let me show you guys how this works. And here we go. And I'm recording layers in Studio One 2, showcasing the brand new multi-track comping feature. And here I am again recording another layer in Studio One 2, showcasing multi-track comping. And here we are with layer number three, again showcasing multi-track comping. Okay, so now you're going to notice that I have a bunch of new layers that have formed underneath my initial layer which I was working with. So you see I have all these guys right here. Now, what's really useful about this is that I can go back and I can listen to each of these new performances that I have created. And I can basically decide what it is that I like the most. So all I need to do is solo one of these tracks. And when I solo this layer, I will hear only this layer. And then if I decide that I like that one specific layer, I can move it up to the primary layer by simply clicking the arrow for activate layer and that'll move the layer up. I can also duplicate the layers and I can remove the layer if I don't like it. So what I can do right now is I can solo a single layer and with the arrow tool selected, you'll notice I have the arrow tool selected up here in my tools list in Studio One. When I move the arrow tool over one of these layers, it's going to turn into the range selection tool. So now what I can do is I can simply select a range of a layer that I like. And now that I have that range, I can move just this one piece of my recorded audio up to my primary layer, which is my first layer up here on the top. And I can do that by simply double clicking. Now you're gonna notice that piece of that range that I just selected has now been moved up to my primary layer. So then let's say that I like a piece of one of my next layers. I can select that range and again, just simply double click. And now that piece has been moved up and now I can select an end piece, double click. And you see that each piece is is colored differently than the layer that it's being added to. So this way I can really keep track of the layers as I start to add them. So this allows me to really quickly and easily comp together an entirely new piece from a number of different takes. So you can see how useful this would be if you're recording drums or a guitar part. You would be able to selectively go in, select a piece from your different layers and create that final perfect take that you really wanted to get. Of course, when you're all done, you can delete any of the layers that you don't want to work with anymore, or you can just go back and just continue working with your primary layer and adding your effects and creating your final work in Studio One 2. 
So this is a really great new feature. You guys will want to play with it, see how you can make use of it and have a little bit of fun. And uh, of course, apply this to your recordings at home or in your studio. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, please stay in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com. Get me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And of course, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor. Please give me a call. Find out how you can work one on one with us and we'll help you to tame your technology and get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. That's what we do best here at Obedia. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next tutorial. Take care. Hey, 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 hey.